Hello everyone, I'm Sarah Campana from the University of Amsterdam in the Netherlands, and I would like to present you our recently published paper on stable bacterial communities of marine sponges. Sponges are the oldest living animals. They are very abundant and occur everywhere from the deep sea to tropical coral reef. They also form symbiotic relationship with complex microbial communities. And thanks to the symbiosis, they possess a diverse metabolism from feeding on the suborganic matter to fixing carbon via photosynthesis. In coral reef, they recycle the suborganic matter or DOM produced by algae and corals. But we don't know if algal DOM is a different fuel than coral DOM for sponges, for example, in sugar and amino acid composition. Because on Caribbean reefs, algae are replacing corals, we wanted to know if this shift affects also the sponge-associated bacterial communities. Therefore, we compare the bacterial communities of four sponge species in a coral-dominated reef, site one, and in an algal-dominated reef, site two. We also transplanted two of the sponge species between the coral and the algal sites to assess if there were changes in the sponge-associated bacterial community composition after three weeks of reallocation. You can see here two plots of the bacterial community composition of the four sponge species and the seawater bacterial plankton at the two reef sites. We did not find a clear separation between the sites, but there was a strong distinction between the different sponge species, and especially between sponges with low abundance of associated microbes versus those with the high abundance of associated microbes. Between the sites, we found a change in the relative abundance of only one bacterial phylum in one sponge species and one in the seawater bacterial plankton while all the other phyla did not change. After three weeks of reciprocal transplantation, the bacterial composition of both sponge species did not show a clear community shift either. We only found a shift in three bacterial phyla in one of the sponge species, but the relative abundance was less than 1%. Our results show that the sponge-associated bacterial communities were either stable between the sites, and while we expected to find major shifts, Sponge-associated bacteria instead proved to be stable between the sites and thus may be more resilient than before to changes in environmental conditions. Thank you for watching.